in this presentation, I um, stress the anti-synergy between adsorption and diffusion in phagocyte zeolite. In practice, Fau zeolites are used in their cation exchange form, and depending on the silicon to aluminum ratio, they are either called X zeolites or Y zeolites. X zeolites have silicon to aluminum ratio 1 to 1.5, and, and uh, Y type zeolites have silicon to aluminum ratios between 1.5 to 3. A variety of extra framework cations that uh, are used, for example, lithium, sodium cations, or barium. Barium X zeolites are used for xylene separations. Lithium X zeolites are used for nitrogen oxygen separations and for flue gas. Um, applications in which a CO2 requires to be captured, the extra framework cations are commonly um, the sodium cations. Let's have a look at the uh, structural topology of our zeolites. These consist of cages of approximately 11, 11 and a half angstrom. Each cage is separated from um, adjacent cages by 12 ring windows that have um, apertures which are approximately 7.2 angstrom. Let us examine the key properties such as polarizability, dipole moment, and quadrupole moments of uh, guest molecules such as carbon dioxide, methane carbon monoxide, nitrogen, and oxygen. Here I plot the polarizability versus the quadrupole moment. And we note that uh, the polarizability of methane is uh, practically uh, the same as that for carbon dioxide, but carbon dioxide has a significantly higher quadrupole moment. You also note that the quadrupole moment of nitrogen is about a factor four higher than that of oxygen. Of these gas molecules, only carbon monoxide has a dipole moment. For separating CO2 from methane, we can exploit the uh, large difference in the quadrupole moments between CO2 and methane. Methane is, has a zero quadrupole moment by um, electrostatic interactions with the um, extra framework cations. Similarly, the selective absorption of nitrogen from mixtures uh, with oxygen is achieved because of the large quadrupole moment of nitrogen that is uh, four times larger than that of um, oxygen. For CO2 capture from flue gases, we rely on the large differences between the quadrupole moments of CO2 and nitrogen. And also the polarizability of CO2 is higher than that of nitrogen. Let us examine the uh, electrostatic interactions between uh, a gas molecule and the extra framework cation. That can be either lithium, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, or barium. I also indicate here the uh, size of the cation the radius of the cation in angstrom values. That R represents the distance between uh, the center of the gas molecule and the center of the cation. Basically, we can um, distinguish between uh, 
three types of electrostatic interaction potentials. One due to induced dipoles. The second one due to the interaction of the electrical field with the permanent dipole of the uh, guest uh, molecule. And thirdly, we have the interaction of the electrical field gradient with the uh, quadrupole moment of the gas molecule. Here Q represents the charges of the extra framework cation, and R is the distance from center to center between the guest and the cations. In all cases, we note that the potential energy of interaction is proportional to the charge or the square of the charge and inversely proportional to the distance to the power 2, distance to the power 3, and the center to center distance to the power 4. In other words, larger electrostatic interactions are achieved with smaller cations because the center to center distance is uh, smaller if the radius of the extra framework cations is smaller. The electrostatic interactions increase with uh, the valency of the um, extra framework cation, a bivalent barium cation would uh, contribute to a greater extent to the electrostatic uh, interactions. And uh, larger dipole, larger quadrupole, higher polarizability will all lead to larger magnitudes of electrostatic potentials. In this uh, slide, I uh, would like to demonstrate the anti-synergy between uh, the adsorption strengths and the mobility of a gas molecule. And uh, as an example, let's take, the ex let's take uh, carbon dioxide. The uh, binding strength or the binding energy is reflected in the uh, isosteric heat of adsorption. And the mobility can be uh, quantified by the self-diffusivity of CO2. Um, both these parameters, the isosteric heat of adsorption and the self-diffusivities are plotted as a function of the surface potential that uh, serves as a uh, proxy for the spreading pressure. The reason for the choice of the surface potential um, as x-axis is uh, clearly explained in my presentation on the spreading pressure that is available on my YouTube channel. With increasing number of extra framework cations as we move from all silica phogocyte to NaY zeolite with a silicon to aluminum ratio of 2.55 to NaX zeolite with a silicon to aluminum ratio of 1.23, we note that there is a significant increase in the isosteric heat of adsorption. In other words, the strength of binding increases with the number of extra framework cations, in this case, sodium. This is to be expected because of the large quadrupole moment of uh, CO2. However, stronger binding implies lower mobility. And, uh, and we note from the plot of the self-diffusivity versus the surface potential that uh, the mobilities decrease with increasing number of extra framework atoms. As we move from all silica phogocyte to sodium Y to sodium X. So the takeaway message from this uh, slide 
is uh, that the stickier the molecule, the lower is its mobility. The takeaway from the previous slide is that we should not go overboard in trying to increase the binding strength by uh, adjusting the uh, silicon to aluminum ratio in fungicide zeonites. Strong binding leads to lower mobility and therefore diffusional influences are enhanced for operations in fixed bed adsorbers strong diffusional influences lead to distended transient breakthroughs and this causes um, a reduction in the uh, productivity of the desired product Further details are available um, in my YouTube presentation on transient breakthrough simulations that uh, discusses in detail how diffusional influences affect uh, performances of fig bed uh, adsorbers. A further point to note is strong adsorption also requires a deeper vacuum for desorption and therefore in choosing the silicon to aluminum ratio to be used in um, fungicide zeolites as adsorbents and fixed bed adsorbers we need to uh, take into account the entire adsorption desorption cycle along with diffusional influences before making the appropriate choice of the degree of um, to which uh, extra framework cations need to be uh, added. Cation exchange phagocyte zeolites also find use in uh, membrane constructs in which a thin layer, typically 50 micrometers of the zeolite is uh, used as a perm selective device to separate gaseous mixtures. The uh, permeation selectivity is a product of the diffusion selectivity and the adsorption selectivity. Let's uh, look at uh, the relative values of the adsorption selectivity and diffusion selectivity for all silica phagocyte for sodium Y and sodium X. With increasing amounts of extra framework sodium cations, the adsorption selectivity of CO2 with respect to methane increases by about two orders of magnitude in going from all silica to uh, NAX that contains 86 aluminum items per unit cell. However, the increase in the adsorption selectivity is at the expense of diffusion selectivity and NAX zeolite has a, a diffusion selectivity of CO2 with respect to methane that is about one order of magnitude lower than that of all silica phagocyte. The decrease in the diffusion selectivity is due to the fact that CO2 is much more strongly adsorbed, is much less mobile than uh, methane. The net result for use in membrane constructs is that uh, while adsorption selectivity increases with uh, increasing number of extra framework cations, the diffusion selectivity decreases and the permeation properties of the membrane 
is uh, a reflection of uh, the anti-synergy between adsorption and diffusion. Let us see how that plays out. Consider the permeation of 50-50 um, uh, feed mixtures of CO2 and methane at a temperature of 300 degree Kelvin and a total fugacity of 1 megapascals. This is a, a Robson plot of the CO2 methane permeation selectivity plotted against the CO2 permeability. The best performance of any membrane is in the top right-hand corner. We would like a, a performance that is right at the uh, top right-hand side of the eruption plot. This line represents uh, the ropes and upper bound and uh, I present here the data for NAX, NAY and all silica phagocyte. These data are calculated on the basis of a combination of molecular simulations of mixture adsorption and uh, MD simulations for mixture diffusion. We note that by increasing the number of extra framework cations, the permeation selectivity increases and therefore um, the increasing the number of cations is uh, a beneficial thing from a permeation selectivity viewpoint. However, we note that the permeability, which is uh, related to the mobility within the uh, membrane, is reduced by about one and a half orders of magnitude in going from phagocyte to NAY to NAX. And therefore, there is a trade-off between permeability and permeation selectivity in choosing the right silicon aluminum ratio to be used in membrane constructs.